can of spam. That's right, today I'm gonna to show you how to take a cake and turn it into a can of spam. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Judy Dench. Let's get started. Now if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button as well as the notification bell. It really helps my channel out and you get to see all of my videos as soon as they come out. And today I'm gonna to highlight the ASPCA where you can donate, volunteer to help save animals, and you can find a very good senior companion. Also, if you're looking for a pet, senior is the way to go. They're also pretty funny. Uh, my senior dog has dementia now and so she doesn't know where she is most of the time. But I still like playing with her. It's just that sometimes she doesn't remember me. Shout out to you, Bella. I love you even though you don't know who I am anymore. Bella, do you like Vin Diesel? How about Paul Walker? Now let's get to it. So to create this cake, I'm starting with a nine by set, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't know what cake size this is. It doesn't really matter because you're gonna cut it into smaller cakes. And I started out by cutting two squares, but I'm gonna cut those down, cut them in half, which is the perfect size for my can of Spam. Now I'm gonna stack three of these and I'm just going to trim the edges just a little bit. Because the corners of my can of Spam uh, my camp, 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 spam, 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 cam, spam, can are rounded. Then I started to add buttercream into the middle. Now the reason I decided to make this was because of coronavirus hoarding. I went to the supermarket to get my mom some spam and they don't have any because everybody knows that spam lasts forever and so everybody's hoarding it. Oh gosh, really? I can't even get one can of spam. So I was standing in front of the empty aisle, very sad at first, and then I realized it would be a really cool cake to make. So that's why we're making it. Can of Spam. Can of Spam cake. Now because I did have some leftover cake, I ended up creating a second cake, which is, can you guess what it is? It is also can Vienna sausages. I grew up on this stuff, so I was like, it'd be funny if I just recreated like my Sunday morning breakfast menu. <laughs> it was like spam, eggs, and rice, cause I'm Asian. So I'm taking my leftover cakes and I just use a round cookie cutter to cut out some circles. So I've got some buttercream in the middle and then I'm just gonna give this cake a crumb coat. This was even harder to crumb coat and to create a smooth surface, I ended up placing a toothpick in the middle just so I didn't have to touch it while I was trying to smoothen it out with a cake smoother. Now both my cakes went into the fridge. And after about a day, I took them out and started to finish creating my cans. Now to create my can of Vienna sausage, I'm wrapping my entire cake with a very thin piece of silver satin ice fondant. It's like the perfect shade. They sent me this, I finally found a way to use it. I thought I was gonna use it first in a doll cake video, but after I realized it was like the same shade as the can of Vienna sausage, I was like, good job. So I wrapped the entire thing and just very carefully cut away the edges to create the top of my can of Vienna sausage. Then I'm gonna place a circle of fondant on top. And then I even added the dent on the side and you're not even gonna see it cause it's gonna be covered with the label. After that, I added the lip of a can with a strip of silver fondant. The canopy and sausage on top didn't really have much. I just had to make sure that I created a pull tab, which is what makes this look like a real can of Vienna sausages. Now to save myself some time and to make this look even more realistic, I didn't draw the label. I decided to print it out at Baker's Bodega. I love that place. I just took my PDF file, brought it to the store. They printed it out on their edible printer that has edible ink edible paper, I cut it out, and then wrapped my can with it. So simple, it is so simple. <laughs> and voila, my can of Vienna sausage was complete. <laughs> I made that. Oh, cutting into it is so satisfying. <laughs> now let's move on to my can of Spam. So to create my can of Spam, I started by wrapping some gold satin ice fondant around my cake. Again, it's like the perfect shade for the can of Spam. Originally, I thought I was gonna use this for my bell, 
doll cake because I was recreating my original bell doll cake. It, it was like made to create a can of spam. <laughs> Now to create the top, I just turned my cake over on a piece of fondant and cut out a rectangle shape that matched my can of Spam. Flipped it back over and I started to work on the top. Now the top of this cake has a little bit of detail. I don't know what it is. Originally when I was putting it on, I thought that it was like flowers maybe? It, I don't know what this has to do with Spam, but that's the design that's on the top of it. Maybe it's like when you slice the Spam and you like fan it out. Oh, that could be it. But also it could just be flowers. After I did that, I added a few more details and then I added that very iconic pull tab. Wow, so iconic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've got the lip of my can going on. And then, thanks to Baker's Bodega, I wrapped my entire cake with my Spam label. Do do do, super simple. Oh, that's looking good. Rich, that is looking great. I'm excited, it looks so cool, let's get into it. So I'm gonna put some Spam in the back to fool you, and then I'm gonna cut it with a knife. Look at that. Oh my god, that's so satisfying. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna be as happy as I am watching myself cut this can of Spam, but it's just so mesmerizing. <laughs> if you take a closer look, you can tell like the fondant was not as sharp as like the actual can, but because I added the like Spam and the Vienna sausage in the background, it's like, you have no idea. <laughs> good job, I did a good job. Good job, Judy, good job. Now I'm curious, what foods are you eating while you're in lockdown? I'm eating a lot of oatmeal because again, I couldn't really find a can of Spam, even though that's what I wanted to eat. I'm also eating Special K and Frosted Flakes because I found that at the Big Lots. They had food there. Who knew? I hope you guys enjoyed this. Stay home, stay safe. I love you. I'll see you later. Peace.